If we look one second at these beautiful pictures which represent what we call the new wonders of the world, I think they exemplify this paradox of luxury. When you look at the Taj Mahal, the Great Pyramid, or the uh, Terracotta Army in Xi'an, you realize that these are incredible achievements. They are like the early manifestations of luxury in our world, and they would be probably impossible to rebuild nowadays, so we can only admire them. But at the same time, when you think about it from a different perspective, the perspective of the thousands of people, poor people who dedicated their lives to build these monuments, which in reality represented a kind of fantasy of a rich and powerful emperor, pharaoh, king, who wanted this monument to be built for the burial of his wife or of himself, you can think about it differently. It's beautiful, but maybe it's sometimes too much as well. Now, one of the most important pillar of luxury in human culture. For thousands of years, luxury has been really a cement for social stratification. It was mostly used by elites to show distinction and to differentiate themselves from normal people. If we look at these pictures now, we see that, again, regarding some death rituals, the elites of our world had some privileges. For instance, in Egypt, the embalmment, or in China, the use of jade, which were both believed to have special power to bring human beings in the next world, in their next life, in a better condition. These were entirely the privilege of a happy few. In the more recent history, we need to have a look at what happened in France. Uh, as you know, probably France always played a key role in the evolution of luxury and the luxury brands nowadays. So an interesting moment was in the 18th century, 17th, 18th century, when Louis XIV, Louis XIV, built Versailles and kind of codified luxury as the lifestyles of the elites at that moment. And his minister, of commerce, Colbert, was very smart because he understood earlier than a luxury, craftsmanship could be a strong asset for the French economy. And that was kind of the early birth of an industry because the manufacturer, the craftsmen started to be protected by the state as they represented potentially a major economic asset for France.